Angel Gabriel teaches the religion. The Hadith of Jibrail. Preceding the performance of his last and only pilgrimage or Hajj to Mecca and approximately 80 days before his death at the age of 63, God's final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was given a wonderful opportunity to summarize his entire mission and message to a vast gathering of believers. He was able to teach them about Islam and its various branches of faith in a beautifully comprehensive way. It was a precious time, for soon he would no longer be there to answer questions, and the believers would lose his direct line to revelation. The believers had assembled to seek knowledge and were taking part in an esteemed question and answer session with the Prophet, peace be upon him, when a truly miraculous incident occurred. During a momentary pause, a neatly dressed stranger appeared, who made his way to the front of the gathering, and for his part, left behind an indelible legacy. Then he left as mysteriously as he had arrived. The narrative that follows is compiled from authentically recorded reports of the event as related by the companions who were blessed enough to be there. May Allah be pleased with them all, and especially Umar ibn al-Khattab, whose narration is found in Sahih Muslim. One day, the companions were sitting in a gathering with Allah's Apostle Muhammad, peace be upon him, and for a while there was a momentary pause in which the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, spoke, saying, Ask me, ask me, for by Allah you will not ask me about anything except that I shall inform you about it as long as I am still able to stand in this place. Ask me about matters pertaining to the religion. But the companions of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, were much too overawed, out of profound respect for him, and refrained from asking him anything. Whilst they were deliberating, a stranger appeared in their midst, and called out from the back of the mosque, saying, Peace be upon you, O Muhammad. May I come forward? The Prophet, peace be upon him, graciously granted him permission to approach, and the stranger made his way towards the front of the gathering. The man was dressed in brilliantly white clothes, and his hair was extraordinarily black. There were no signs of travel upon him, either of dust or weariness. None amongst the companions recognized him, or had ever seen him before, and looked at each other perplexed, having no idea who the stranger was, but they made room for him to pass. At last he settled by kneeling directly in front of Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, and placing his palms on his thighs, he sat near his knees, and with all attentively watched, the stranger finally spoke, saying, Muhammad, inform me about Islam. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, responded by saying, Islam implies that you testify that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah, and that you worship him without associating partners with him, and that you accept Muhammad as his Messenger, and that you establish regular obligatory prayer and pay the poor due, zakat, charity, observe fasting during the month of Ramadan, and perform a pilgrimage or hajj to the house of Allah, if you have sufficient wealth to bear the expenses of the journey. The inquirer, having heard the response, replied, You have spoken truthfully or correctly. The companions were absolutely astounded by the scenario that this unknown stranger would forthrightly ask the question and when he received an answer he would by himself verify the truth of it. But they remained silent and the inquirer continued his questioning by saying, Inform me about Iman or faith. The Holy Prophet peace be upon him replied, it is that you affirm your faith in Allah, in his angels, in his books, in his apostles, 
in the day of judgment and that you affirm your faith in the resurrection of the hereafter and in your meeting with him and that you affirm your faith in the divine decree in its entirety both the good of it and the evil of it the inquirer responded by again saying you have spoken the truth and continued by asking inform me about ihsan goodness or the performance of good deeds the holy prophet peace be upon him replied it is that you worship allah as if you are seeing him and observe your prayer with this idea in your mind that at least he is seeing you for although you cannot see him verily he sees you the inquirer questioned again saying inform me about when the hour of doom is the holy prophet peace be upon him replied the one who is asked knows no more than the one who is inquiring about it in furtherance the inquirer asked then tell me some of its indications or signs the holy prophet peace be upon him replied that the slave girl will give birth to her mistress and master that you will find the scantily clad barefooted destitute goat herds and shepherds of black camels becoming chiefs of the people and vying with one another in the construction of magnificent tall buildings these are some of the signs of the hour of doom moreover the last hour is one of the five happenings enshrouded in the unseen which no one knows for sure except allah then the messenger of allah peace be upon him recited the quranic verse verily allah with him alone is the knowledge of the hour and it is he who sends down the rain and knows that which is in the wombs and no person knows whatsoever they shall earn tomorrow and neither do they know in which land they shall die verily allah is all knowing all aware surah luqman chapter 31 verse 34 following the answer to his final question the unknown inquirer turned back to where he had come from and went away whilst the companion stayed with the holy prophet peace be upon him for quite a while the messenger of allah peace be upon him then said bring that man back to me the companions who were present there may allah be pleased with all of them went looking for him to bring him back but in vain they saw nothing there and the stranger had completely vanished without a trace sometime later maybe after a couple of days the messenger of allah peace be upon him remarked about the incident to his father-in-law umar may allah be pleased with him saying o oh, umar do you know who the inquirer was to which umar replied allah and his apostle knows best the holy prophet peace be upon him then remarked by the one allah in whose hand is the soul of muhammad he never came to me before except that i was able to recognize him except for this time glory be to allah subhanallah that was the angel gabriel who came to the people in order to instruct or teach them about the matters of their religion